In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a topographical uh, surface as a solid. Um, I've opened a new file and I've created a layer called Topo, and I'm going to make that my current layer by double clicking on it within the layer manager. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, a square that is about 500 feet, um, and we'll use this to begin setting up the, the contours. All right, so I'll use the rectangle tool and I'll make my first point at zero comma zero and I'll make my second point at 500 comma 500. Enter. And then I'll zoom to the extents of my drawing and I'll zoom out just a little bit more. All right, so I have this square and I'm gonna begin constructing uh, the contours. So I'll use a polyline to do this. All right, I'll type in PL at the command line and I'll choose as my object snap. Um, the first point will be this corner position and I'll basically just move across the square to the opposite corner. Okay, so now I have this, this polyline, and in order to make it um, the sort of form of, of an earth surface, I'm going to make it into a splined polyline. Uh, one way to do this is to bring up the polyline edit tool, click on the polyline, and select spline. Okay, so now it is a uh, a kind of curved form, curved line, and I can click on it and stretch the grips to modify the surface as necessary. Okay. Now, typically, you would receive contours like this um, as part of a, a survey, um, but at times you want to modify the contour, so um, this is one way in which you can do that. Now this, this contour um, will be the lowest one, and I'll make a series of them, and they'll get gradually higher and higher. Uh, since this is about 500 feet, or it is precisely 500 feet, I'll make copies of this polyline, and then later I'll, I'll raise them um, along the z-axis so that they have some elevation. But for the moment, I'm just going to make copies of that polyline um, I'll try making them at 25 feet apart. You know, that might be a little bit close and too steep, so I'll eliminate one of them and I'll make copies at 50 feet. 100 feet. 150 feet, 200 feet, 250 feet, 300 feet, 350, and I'll just keep going until it completely fills the box. Uh, and I think I'll add another one at the bottom that's 50 feet away. Okay, now these are identical curves, um, but in all likelihood, a topo surface would have variation. So you can begin to mold the contours to form valleys, as I'm doing right now. Now you can also add more vertices to the polylines. Um, I'm going to use the polyline edit tool again, and I'm going to add a vertice a vertex to this line right here. I'll click on insert and I'll select a point along that polyline. All right, so if I look at the one next to it, it has a series of vertices and this one should have an additional one. And you can continue to, to manipulate these forms to form smooth curves or, or more abrupt ones if you like.
So now, as you can see, I have um, made a few changes, added some vertices to the contour map, and I'm ready to move on to the next step.